Hello everyone and early Merry Christmas. Some of you may remember last year I did a 10 days of Christmas video where I showed off different figures and just like kaiju universe, just random kaiju related stuff for 10 days until Christmas. Now looking back, that was way too easy. This year I really wanted to challenge myself. So this year I'll be doing much more complex videos. I will be scaling the entire Spectrum Anverse. Now I know, I know, all the Heisei stands are already fuming hearing that I'm gonna be scaling again. But just give me a chance. Sure, I don't scale Godzilla too high, but unlike Godzilla, Spectre Man has some insane feats. I've also been lucky enough to work with many scalers for this video. And huge thanks to the Dread Dormammu on Discord for finding a lot of these scans for these videos. Now firstly, what is Spectre Man? Since I know a lot of you have no idea what that is. Spectre Man is an older Japanese TV show series that released in the early 70s. Spectre Man has a total of 29 different characters slash kaijus. Each day we'll be scaling a few of the kaiju from the show. Today, we'll be scaling Heteron, Midoron, and Zeron. These three appear in the first few episodes. And one final thing before we start. The entire show is here on YouTube, so here's some homework. Each time you finish watching one of these 10 days of Christmas videos, make sure to go watch a few episodes of Spectre Man, so you can keep up to date with me. Without further ado, let's scale some kaiju. First, we have Heteron. Heteron first appears in the Uncommon Enemy and is Spectre Man's first opponent. Let's start with his feats. Starting with his smallest feat being that he completely destroyed a town swiftly and easily getting him to town level. His corrosive miss is shown to be able to instantly corrode and destroy a crane, meaning he can with no difficulty destroy high strength steel. And since he can spray this mist really far and wide, this could easily get him to city level. And finally, in the show, Spectre Man flew through a mountain with no difficulty and didn't slow down at all. However, when he flew through Heteron seconds later, it slowed him down quite a bit, indicating he may have durability that is higher than that of a mountain. Therefore, no wonder, he can now scale to mountain level. And from what I've heard from quite a few scalers, is that durability is equal to attack potency. So Heteron now has more than mountain level durabilities and attack potency. Now some scans and statements. Firstly, his size and weight. According to some sort of plane card for Heteron, he is 20 meters long. And with that, we can guess he's around 15 meters tall. We also get his weight, which is 15 tons. It is also stated that it spits concentrated sludge from its mouth and sprays poisonous gases from its seven tentacles. When hit by these gases, everything falls to pieces indicating that most man-made structures are vulnerable to his mist. Now are the in-show statements. Though there aren't too many, there are two that are good to use, but they're practically the same thing. The first one said, Heteron's deadly gases destroy everything, everything. And the second one, destroys everything in his path. And also some random info that I was able to come up with. It may be due to the quality of the show here on YouTube, but Heteron's fire seems to burn with a yellowish greenish hue, indicating either copper compounds and or sodium. That's about it for Heteron. With all this info, you could scale him somewhere between large mountain to possibly even island. Next up, we have Midoron. Midoron? Mid Midoron. Midoron, my bad. Midoron is seemingly a pollution monster, but according to scans, he's also part robotic? His feats include poisoning and destroying a town, and he was able to tank point-blank fire from two JASDF F4 phantoms, and he didn't take any visible damage. Now onto his statements. It seems to indicate that he may have the durability of steel. So, though it's not much, you could probably scale him somewhere between city to maybe just barely mountain level. So far, nothing too impressive. And finally, for the first Christmas special, we have Zeron. He only really has one impressive on-screen feat, which is his burrowing. And not only that, but he can burrow at insane speeds. Though his speed isn't outright said, if I were to guess, I would say he can even go faster than Megalon. For reference, Megalon can dig at Mach 3. Now, he does have some insane on-screen statements, which is, Spectre Man, you cannot overpower the monster in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He is too strong. For reference, Spectre Man may be one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combatants in any kaiju-related universe. Just look at these clips right here. So the fact that this booger with horns is able to outclass him is insane. Now his statements. Firstly, it's stated that he has steel-like skin. It is stated that he is 17 meters long and weighs 10 tons. Now with all that info, he is the first kaiju that I think can just barely get to state level. Though, you could possibly get him to planetary, since Spectre Man's entire purpose is to defend underdeveloped planets. And since he was able to outdo Spectre Man in hand-to-hand -hand combat with no difficulty, you can maybe stress that out and get him to planetary. So, so far, we have a mountain level threat, an island level threat, and possibly even a planetary level threat. So far, not too bad. Again, early Merry Christmas, everybody, and consider subscribing. I'll see you all tomorrow. Godzilla Guy, out. See ya.